On the way down to the bridge here, we had to revisit our drainage. I didn't get the guys to do uh, do things quite right here with how I how I had the drainage going across the road. We didn't have much of a sump here, and the uh, the four inch PVC that brings uh, rainwater to the other side of the road there plugged up, as did the big O over there in all that drain rock. Had to dig her all up, replace it, compact everything down. Oddly enough, now I'm uh, kind of anxious for rain to see how it all works out. So, anyway, I think it turned out pretty good. Should work all right, I think. Let's go check out some more. This past week, we've been working on the septic, getting loose ends tidied up, getting some of the connections done. So this is the, uh, the pump tank coming from the suite, heading across the bridge. Got our electrical all mounted up there on the vent. This is just about ready for backfill. Just got to run some wiring back over here. Let's go check things out on the other side of the creek. Yeah, so over on this side here we got the uh, pump tank and the treatment tank. Just been working on getting things backfilled, getting all the wires all tidied up, making all our connections in the junction boxes there. It's coming together all right. Little hooked pipe here is going to be the air intake for the blower for the aerobic treatment plant. This side's the uh, pump tank, so we got a UV light and uh, obviously the pump going in that side as well. So it's coming together. Over here, over here, behind the trees, you can see the little hut. It's going to be a pump house, it's going to house the electronics for the uh, for the septic system. Let's go check it out. So this would be the pump house. Inside here we'll have our pressure tank for the well. We've got our electrical panel there for temporary power supply. That'll eventually get moved over to the house once we get moved in permanently. And uh, this here is the controls for the septic system. This here is the SJE Rhombus IFS, that'd be installer friendly series control panel for the dosing. I, uh, I really like these things. They are very easy to use, simple to set up, and they work well. So it makes for a nice clean installation and uh, I'm really happy with these. I highly recommend them. This uh, is being used in conjunction with somewhere in here. Oh, no, it's been installed already. Is the uh, uh, the sea level float uh, float what do you call it? Transducer. It's to replace all the floats. It uses a pressure transducer to uh, sense the level of the effluent in the tank. The controller reads that. It's as simple as just programming in your levels for where you want all your various uh, events to happen. So uh, changing settings is as simple as uh, pushing a couple buttons. No climbing in the tank, ripping out the floats and uh, playing with them trying to get things right. Works really well. Up top here, what have we got? Oh, we got a blower controller for the uh, aerobic treatment plant and also a ballast for the UV light. Those come with the, uh, with the microfast system. So, electrician is supposed to be showing up here sometime soon. We'll get those all wired in, get things hooked up and ready to go. Tomorrow we're supposed to be seeing a plumber, maybe the day after, and uh, that should get the pump for the well all hooked up. That would be the pump over there in front of the burning stump. So uh, we should get some water flowing here. Mind you, the water's not going to flow very far because I haven't got the bridge uh, bridge stuff finished off for taking those pipes across. I've got to build some brackets to hold everything. Anyway, we'll get that, uh, get that tidied up later this week. We'll check in later when we've got some water and some power and some septic going. Catch you later.